you've been designing shoes um, and you had the chance to design some for some of the Houston Rockets players. But before we, we dive a little bit into that, I wanted to ask, when did you get started in, in making these designs on shoes and how did it happen? Um, I, man, I, I think I first started drawing on shoes probably 10 years ago, but never really took it seriously until maybe the past year or so when I just kind of got bored with what I was doing day in, day out and just decided to start drawing on some shoes. Um, yeah, and it just, it just kind of went from there. As I mentioned, you designed shoes for some Rockets players, Daniel House Jr., Ben McLemore. How did you begin the process of designing shoes for these NBA players? Um, it was funny. I actually, so I, I mentioned I did some shoes for myself, some customs, and uh, I think I just posted them on Facebook and just kind of a shot in the dark. I was like, hey, if anyone happens to have any connections to any basketball players or pro athletes, I'd love to do some customs for someone. And of course, lo and behold, a friend reached back out and she was like, hey, I actually happen to know some players. Do you want me to connect you? I was like, that would be amazing. Wow, that is awesome. The power of social media for sure, especially to have them uh, wearing them down in this huge platform in Orlando. But I'm curious, this can't be an easy process. I want to know what goes into it from designing um, to actually applying those designs to the shoe. Oh, it's definitely a, a long process. Um, I think, you know, first and foremost, you know, depending on who I'm doing the shoes for, I like to research the player a little bit and get inspired by what they're about, what their style is like, and what the colors, you know, what kind of colors they would, would, uh, would make sense for them. And then from there, I go into Photoshop and I start mocking up things, um, actually using colors and using graphic elements just to make sure I have everything how I want it to make sure it looks right uh, in real life as is in my head. And then from there, I start prepping the shoe. It takes a lot of, uh, you know, you got to sand the shoe down. You got to deglaze the shoe, um, tape it off, you know, mask it off. And it's it's a fairly involved process, but it's it's all really fun. Love doing yeah. it. I saw your Instagram post and you talked a little bit about the process that went into designing shoes for Ben McLemore and how you really took in his story. You learned a lot about him to take in all the things that he really likes. I, I imagine this has to be a surreal moment for you, but what has it been like to see your work actually out there on the court? Oh, I, I can't even explain. Uh, it's, it's a dream come true, honestly. I mean, you know, it's ever since I was 13, I've come home from school and draw shoes on my own and, you know, to, to now be able to draw and choose and see it on an NBA court. I mean, I, that's definitely a, a bucket list item checked off. Right now, the world is going through a lot. And some of your recent designs have had meaningful messages behind them that a, a player would like to share with the world. What do you think or what does it mean to you to have them entrusting you and your work with spreading those messages? Um, honestly, the, the reason that I really got into lettering and why I love lettering is because you know, there's so much power in written word and depending on the style and how it's presented, it can really make a bigger impact in what the message is. And so really to, to be able to have this platform and, and do some good with it, that's really all I'm really asking for uh, in my work is to, to make cool stuff, but also kind of make some lasting world change at the same time. That's awesome. Now, if anyone wants to check out your work or possibly get shoes designed by you, where can they reach out to you or, or check out your work? Oh, they can find me on Instagram at Tinlin Studio or uh, they can just send me an email, Tinlin Studio at Gmail. Awesome. Terrence, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. We can't wait to see your designs and hopefully many more out on the court soon. Thank you. Thank you, Kaylee.